I was talking about Simone Biles and Simone is one of those, you know, uh, you know, sim- similar to Venus and Serena and um, Coco and all these just wonderful um, uh, young black women athletes in particular. And this is this moment where I felt like she was coming into her own mm-hmm. as like a political figure. Um, you know, stepping outside of that little box that they put Olympic athletes in. And she was saying, you know, they were penalizing her because one of her routines had a a move with a rate of difficulty that is apparently off the charts, right? Right. And one of the things she's known for is her athleticism. And um, gymnastics tends to prefer, uh, quote unquote, grace to athleticism. Right, all these coded (laughs) words, right? Yes, and that is very coded with race and class and gender, um, read through body type, you know? And so she was saying, listen, you don't want me to do my best, what would make this challenging for me, I will go home. And I thought that is just the kind of freedom that I wish for every woman and especially every black woman, the freedom to say, I see what you get out of me being here, right? but there's nothing for me (laughs) in this scenario. And so I will stay home. Yeah. Uh, And I loved that and could relate, I guess. I loved it too. I was moved because it felt like perhaps she was putting her mental health of Absolutely. prioritizing her mental health and her wellness over others who wanted things from her. I think it's important to, to note that it was women athletes who I think really shaped that conversation. And that happened um, over the pandemic, didn't it? And there were some white dudes that had some op-eds, I think, in the Times mm-hmm. perhaps or somewhere saying some oh, yeah. stuff. and. Yeah, that if you don't want to compete at that level, if you can't handle, if you don't have the mental toughness, again, coded language. And, you know, we're in this time where I think athletes of Simone's age are like all people her age, which is they have a very different understanding of what they owe. Yes. An audience or a boss or an employer. Right. And I think it is actually fundamentally healthy. And especially when you're talking about black athletes, um, I think it's really important for them to push back on what honestly feels a lot like a ownership 